Generic greetings and welcome back to House Flipper. Today's beverages <sighs> lemon tea, which is quite warm at the moment, but I'm assuming I'll be drinking that cold by the time we get to the end of this episode. Speaking of episodes, in the previous one, we got this room. Well, I showed you this room because I did it uh, between the first and second episode, but it's the master bedroom and it's all right, a little bit dated, but I do quite like it. It's a bit different from uh, the sort of more. Um, more contemporary rooms like this where it's just, you know, a statement wall and then sort of beiges and whites and creams and stuff. But uh, yeah, we got all of this landing up here done, which is still a bit of work to do. Maybe put some paintings on that wall. And then we did this room down here. This is the main room. So we've got a big TV cabinet, which is backwards. I know it's backwards. It's on purpose because it doesn't fit the other way with a TV. And we got um, a couple of other things added be uh, between the episodes. So I've got like a teddy bear there just for... Reasons, uh, some candles, DVD uh, player there, or Blu-ray, or whatever physical media player you wish. Uh, we've got a table here, which doesn't have a can uh, candle centralised. Now it sort of does. Um, we've got like a nice seating area. I put some like books on the coffee table, and we've got a, uh, a bookcase in here, which I haven't populated with books because it would take far too long. And just little odds and ends, like like uh, hooks for keys or what, uh, hats or whatever, and um, anything else you can put on a hook, which uh, is many things. So in this episode, we want to, at a minimum, get this done, which is going to be our kitchen. So let's think of the colours. Um, I think we're going to have to deviate a little bit from what we've done previously, because a lot of the times we've gone with like sort of creams and beiges and stuff like that, which I think we should try and move away from with this room so if we go over to kitchen we can see we've got a lot of um, these very clean and uh, like uh, white worktops with like a dark granite top which is quite nice uh, we could go with something classical like this which um, this is where the corner goes in um, the problem is that the windows there I am planning on having a corner bit here it runs pretty much from there all the way along and then there and hopefully have a fridge there or a freezer whichever however we'll have to see let's go and check out some of the other corner one there's a complete t-shape uh, kitchen which we don't want there's a corner kitchen set see these ones are normally the better ones because you can make them up however you want so for example we can have like this one here and you've got different colors like cream and orange uh, black cabinet cases grays whites Green actually wouldn't be too bad. What colours do we have for that, though, um, option-wise? Uh, we'll just go for the whites. I mean, this could go, for example, in this corner here. Um, that will fit in there quite nicely. And then we do... Um, well, let's just see. Uh, what would go on from there? Maybe maybe like uh, just one of these, and we just have to go for the uh, cream one there, and then we just rotate that around. And because obviously all of these are sectioned, it should fit in quite nicely, which it does. That's fine. And then we'll continue going on. Now, originally I was going to just check these parts out and then um, build off them, but quite frankly, it seems to be working all right. So let's just keep going. Uh, we'll go for that one, and uh, we've got you can have different colored doors, and it would not. The, the, the case is going to be be green uh, and the rest will just be uh, cabinetry then we want a gap uh, where we're going to put our cooker in there so we'll go down to well, actually we do need a hood so steel cooker hood we'll place a steel cooker hood up there I might actually move, remove that for now and then shift that to there and then put the cooker there. I think that's more centralised and it would probably look a bit better. Um, for some reason, though, it will not move over. There we go. It has to be right near the, right near the ceiling there. Okay. Uh, we'll go over to electrical equipment. So electrical equipment and go down to uh, appliances. And we've got lots of different appliances. Electric cooker, four gas burner stove. Um, oh, that is just a countertop. All right, okay. Uh, but do we have a separate oven? Um, that's an induction top. No, that's just a gas plate. Uh, I guess it's just going to have to be one of those. So we'll buy one of those, rotate this around, and then we'll place it in like so. And that sort of fits in. And a cabinetry... A bit of cabinet will go there. Mm, no, don't like that there. What I'll do is I'll put that there. I will go back over to the kitchen bit. And then we'll put in probably a, a double one. But yeah, I, d I didn't plan on uh, placing this now. I just thought, well, I'll I'll see what colours are available and then I'll match it up from there. But it looks like we've um, skipped past that. So I'll put that in there. And I'm just going to try and centralise this cooker bit and... I think that's about right and then there we are that's all right it looks a bit big though doesn't it it does look a bit big we do have a smaller one we've got this exhaust hood here which is actually a lot more in keeping than that one so we'll sell that one it's actually a lot yeah it actually matches up so 
Yes, I much prefer that. So we're going to go with that one. Right, so we just need back to the kitchen and we'll do the end piece. Obviously, the colour's going to be green now. We've already decided that that's pretty much the case. So I have a couple of options here. I could go for another corner piece in here. And would that work? It would actually look quite good, I think. Let's try that. Um... Uh, I'll try and fit it properly. Depends what it looks like from the back. From the back, it's... Ah, yeah, there you go. This was one of the problems with the uh, game originally, that the back piece, this is never supposed to be shown. And as you can see, it looks... Um, uh, well, yes, it looks a bit iffy, doesn't it? So we'll go back to... That's the wrong tool for removing stuff. That normally permanently removes it, rather than temporarily removes it. Um, I don't think... I don't think this cabinet is going to have any real purpose. So I'm going to have to sell that one. That was just a test. Okay. So, we'll go back over and we'll have... We've got hanging shelves, which I will be putting in. We also have this sink here, which I will buy, because the sink is going to go in front of the window, like that, which means that we could probably fit in another double cabinet to the uh, to the left there. So, let's go for... Uh, that's a single with draw. Actually, I like the ones with the drawers. We'll probably put that on the edge. There's another double one. We'll say, buy many, because it's going to go there. And then we will have another one there, and then I'll shift that just a little bit to the left, and then that sort of fits in. Although I do want to have um, next to that one. Do I want that one? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. I like the idea of maybe getting rid of that, moving it to there. And we'll have another single one, and the single one will have a draw in, so you can put, like, um, well, many items in drawers. The, the, the generally universal... Um, storage solution systems. However, I think it's more of a case of you can put like a, like a like spoons and forks and whatever and tongs for when you're cooking on the hob there. And we'll probably do the same there. There's not one with a double drawer though, like a cutlery drawer, is there? I don't think there is anywhere. Um, I'm not seeing it. No. Originally, I was thinking of using one of these like kitchen sets, but no, I think this is. What we've done here is fine. At least we can alter the colours, which is obviously the main thing. So we'll get that one there back to green. And I'm sure there's one piece that I haven't uh, done properly and it won't be green. So that'll go there. This will go over to there. And then that is actually pretty much what I was after. So that's fine. Now, in this section, I wanted to put the, the fridge. So that's going to be electronic equipment appliances refrigerator stack and it is the bright color and it fits in absolutely beautifully so we'll place it in um like that perfect absolutely perfect that's what i was looking for and i was going to put it there if there was a problem would it look better there no i don't think it does i don't think it does it would go there it would go there quite happily but i just don't think it's don't think it's there. Um, I wonder why the music stopped in this game. Is there any sound at all at the moment? Hmm. No music for some reason. Anyway, so there's all that done. Right, let's think about painting because I will be putting some things around the outside. Oh, actually, we've got a water heater as well, so I'm going to put water heater. Um, water heater small. We'll put that in as well, and that can go about there. That's fine. Right. We don't need one, it just looks okay. Uh, for everything else, there's other things we can put in, but we're not going to bother with that for the time being. So, we want to get some paint. So, we want to go for... Uh, where should we have it? How about... How about a crash? Those are always useful, he says, uh, without any degree of confidence. So, in terms of colours, I've... I'm going to pick between either a young flower bud, which is a pastel green, and there's one right down here, which is spring grass. So let's just see uh, what they're like. So we'll go for paint, and we're going to try these, and we'll do like one section of wall each. So we'll just work our way along. And we want something that is, uh, well, this is going to be a very, very green kitchen. Put it that way. Right, so there's that. Let's try the other one. We'll see which one we like best. Won't take too long to get this done. Okay, so in terms of the colours, I think... Hmm. I actually don't mind them both. Which is which goes best though with that cabinetry? Hmm. 
Hmm. I really can't decide. I think that goes better, but maybe that's a, a better colour for the rest of the room. Here's a the thing, then. Why don't we have that as the statement wall with that colour, and the rest is this? Let's let's go with that. Let's forge ahead. Let's let's be all thrust and no vector. Let's just <laughs> let's plow forward. Uh, reckless abandon and all that, and uh, see how we get on. <sighs> right. Um. Obviously, we'll need another tin of this one. And the best part is, I don't know which one, which colour this one is. Obviously, there's been a huge overhaul in this kitchen. It was, uh, yeah, quite a bit of messing around. We originally, well, it wasn't even a kitchen originally. I don't think this place had a kitchen. It was more like a, like a side room, like a study or a lounge or something, um, which was an interesting choice. Uh, maybe it was haunted by all of the people that had starved to death, which is um, a possibility. Um, are we going to run out of paint here? We're getting there. But uh, we're getting a lot done. You can just see how uh, efficient you can be when you've got the full upgrades for for this. There we go. And I think this will be our last bit of paint in that tin. Yeah, but we'll be able to get the underside done. Um, yeah, so we, we managed to r remove a lot of the walls. We uh, removed these ones and we actually, I think, built it across... Like down there and like that, and then we changed it to fit this in, and um, Veneta sort of repaint that. But I think it's it's come out nice for it because of where this where this thing is. It looks quite nice. Oh yes, by the way, I have um, coloured this in. I, I do, the brain brainy doesn't function too well or good or efficiently, um, and for some reason just decided to completely go to leave the room and uh, couldn't remember the colours of uh, that paint. Even though I placed the paint in a couple of times for that colour, when I put it on I went, mm, it doesn't look right, I don't, <laughs> don't know what happened there. Um, ooh, that is very green, but uh, it's okay. Uh, let's go to paint and we'll finish this paint off on this side and we'll just see what it's like. Obviously if we decide to change this then we can. I think for the sake of time, we'll probably overwrite this wall with whatever this is, um, just because painting the rest would um, take quite amount of time. But uh, not that that's a big problem. This is probably going to be um, uh, probably another couple of episodes. This one and the next one to finish this one off. Which, as nobody's watching them anyway, it doesn't really matter. But uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a couple, a couple of people. But uh, yeah, these long form ones, I like them because we can just chill out and do what we need to do. I think that was Young Flower Bud, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So let's go to painting, and we'll just get this done. And that as well. So I'll just check the other side. I believe that was done, yes. Well, there's only that one window, and I think that's it. Hmm. Not convinced this works. I just think there's too much going on. I mean, if it was a more neutral colour matched up with like a, a statement wall, then fair enough, but it isn't. It isn't. It's just... It's as if we have went into the local DIY store and said, can you mix this paint for me, please? And uh, they said, how many tins do you want? They said, oh, I'll have, um, I'll have 20 litres, please, and they'll give you two tins. And then you realise that what they've actually given you is two slightly different colours. Yeah, that's okay. So we'll sell those. Um, in question, a question of flooring. Do we want a different flooring in here? I am of the opinion that we probably do. So, although actually, uh, this what's ah, let's see, mm, this these stairs here are the same colour as that. So, do I want to do that? Do I want tiles in here? I probably do, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Okay, so there's our roof kitchen. Let's go over to furniture. Actually, not furniture, sorry. It's kitchen, and then we'll go for our cabinet, and then we can see we've got different um, different colours. We're going to go with the, the cream here. And what we need to do is line it up with something and work that away. Um, so where do we want it? Probably... There, I should really go to buy many. Let me place one right next to it. That seems to fit, yes. And do we want two on the other side or just the one? I think just the one. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get myself right next to the job. And then move that way. And I know... That, that should be about the right level. It looks a bit low. It still looks a bit low. Uh, I think that's okay. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. Okay, that's right. So that's some more stuff in there. And more electronic equipment. We've got things like water heater and stuff like that. When, oh, we can place a water heater. I'm going to buy that. And just while I remember, I'm going to go down and uh, get that place on the, on the wall there. Because why not? Again, a lot of this stuff won't make any difference. When you go over to buyers, you can see there's a lot that they like, so they don't like. There's no big family room. I mean, I don't know how big a family room needs to be. That's fairly big. <laughs> uh, in UK standards, that is a very big room. <laughs> uh, right, so... Um, no typical children's rooms. Not yet. Uh, more bedrooms needed. We'll get to that. Don't have anywhere to cook. I'm sorry, it says big kitchen on the top right. What does this actually say? Living room. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Let's just get some more stuff in here. So, it'll be appliances once again. So, electrical equipment. And microwave oven. Buy that. Um, put the microwave oven like at a slight angle there. That looks fine. We want a... Uh, we don't want fans or anything. We want... A coffee maker. There's a coffee maker, in fact. Perfect. Which we can put in here. And then there's a lot of decoration that we can use. Um, th uh, there's a sh yeah, shelf with like loads of spice racks and stuff and other things. Uh, we'll put that up there. Yes, that seems to work. Excellent. Okay. This is actually coming together a lot better than I thought. Well, what's that? Oh, hang off the kitchen utensils. I don't think I've seen that one before. Let's go with that one. How big is it? It's... Oh, it's quite good, actually. Um, could put it there, but it really makes no sense. Um, my question is, do I get rid of that? Or do I keep the cupboards? I think the cupboards are fine. I think... That's okay. So we've got towel rolls, we've got all sorts of stuff here. I want a knife block, which I know there is one. There's the knife block there, which we'll put in uh, that corner like so. And we do need a bin, actually. We don't have a bin in the kitchen. Uh, actually, let's make sure we can make... We, let's, we have to uh, ensure we can make a beverage. Let's get a, get, a, get a kettle on the go. And we can make nice, tasty beverages. Right, uh, metal pedal bin, that's fine, we'll put the metal pedal bin in, um, that corner's fine, we could put some corner cabinetry there, but I don't, I don't know, what I do want to have is something in here, um, other than that, this kitchen is fairly alright, I mean, we could have a little small, we could have a small table there, couldn't we, we might move that, we might move that in a second, there's no... I mean, there has been some thought applied to what we're doing, but in reality, in reality, we just, we look at it, we think, hmm, what's good, does this work, does it not? You don't really know until you've sort of tried it, unless you are obviously a professional um, designer and uh, interior decorator, in which case, you know, you should know all of this. Um, <laughs> but what are the chances of that? Uh, furniture. We want, uh, cupboards. Uh, what sort of cupboard? Four-door wardrobe. Wardrobe. See, some of these are called wardrobes, but they would probably fit elsewhere. A double cabinet with desk. Wardrobe again. Bookcase. No, none of them. Garage shelf, garage shelf. Uh, sideboard to the dining room. See, that's what I was looking for. Uh, the colours, we can just go for all white, really. Um, let's try that. And, oh, please say it fits in because it looks pretty good, actually. I think it might. It's going to fit in. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for better. Couldn't have asked for better. Looks okay. Fits in the thing very well. 
just going to shift it over a tad to the left just to uh, it's not going to be centralized either way but it just looks a bit better when you come in Oh, perfect. I couldn't have asked for more than that. Right, okay. Um, flooring we're going to keep because of uh, reasons mentioned earlier. Let's just have a very quick look at tables and see if we can get a table in there. Table slim uh, on a uh, probably a white base. And would a table be able to fit in there? It would, but it would stick out. So let's have a look at another one. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time here. That would fit in absolutely perfectly. So we'll remove the bin, put it there. We'll get that table in like so. Oh, you couldn't really have asked for a better fit. Um, and we'll put a chair in. We'll just put a simple chair in there. Um, not a swivel chair. B-shaped chair. Is there a white bit? There is. That will fit in absolutely spot on. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Where does the bin go? The bin can go in the corner, but I was going to put something there. Um, we could, if we wanted to, shift this over and then put the bin there but I think it would look a bit stupid so I don't know where the bin would really fit um oh, I could go there it could go there and that is probably a decent spot for it actually because when you think about it if you're using like if you're getting rid of your uh, coffee grounds and stuff you want somewhere to put it and that's not a terrible place it does stick out a little bit and in reality that would go a little bit closer to the edge you would be able to fit it a little bit closer to the edge and oh there we go that's fine right we're gonna put a bit more cabinetry on the uh, left there so it's furniture actually no let's go over to the kitchen and then we'll have a scroll down and see what we can see um Modern hanging cabinet, Andy, no uh, classic kitchen set with oven. Um, so that's similar to what we've got over on this bit here. And, uh, well, it's not going to fit in there and it would look stupid anyway. What would you have? I think just some sort of storage, wouldn't you? Um, so we'll go for standard furniture, cupboards. We'll have a scroll down and dresser. It might not look like a dresser when it's in here though no it definitely looks like a dresser <laughs> yes that didn't fit at all uh, steel garage stuff what else what else what else I think we're running out of objects anything we put in will just look like something a bit dodgy won't it uh, desk sofas you wouldn't put a sofa in there. Wouldn't be any chairs or seating. Um, there is a bookcase. That's the one I was looking for. No. No. Okay. I guess. I guess we'll come back to that. Just for the, just for the sake of moving on, I think we'll declare victory, and we'll come back to that little corner. So, because we'll do like all of the the major work and then all the little fine tuny bits that's all finicky and stuff will come back. Oh, we could put a generator in. If I, <laughs> why would I want to put a generator? I don't want to. I don't want to put that downstairs. Sewer grate, um, reinforced door. Oh wow! I really want to put that there. Oh, is it? Can you just place it anywhere? Oh, you just place it anywhere. <laughs> um. Oh, that's so going there. That's <laughs> that has to go there, surely. We can put a fallout shelter in. It's getting done. Oh, look, that's painted, but it's painted not brick colours. Well, that's dandy. Cool. I wonder if we get any bonuses for putting a fallout shelter in. Uh, let's go for walls and wall panels, which I believe uh brick. Is there by now? Yes, and then we'll go up to tiling. Um, yeah, it's that. That's that one. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Oh, hang on then. So which one is it? Oh, don't we have one? Dark brick. Oh, don't say we're going to have to redo all, everything in here. That would be really annoying if we have to do that. Um, I, 
don't think this light brick... No, that's definitely not the right colour either. Is the word to you just remove? I don't think there is a word just to remove. I'm coming back to that. I'm not. I can't be dealing with that right now. Okay, <laughs> I might. I just have to, I might just remove it. Honestly, I might just remove it if it means painting all of this because I like the brick. Um, I mean, I, I've but I really like the fallout shelter and I want to make like a like a bunker type thing in here. The bunker would look really cool. Anyway, I'm going to come back to that. That's a future's problem. For what we need, to, what we need to do now is work on upstairs. I, well, I'll just check the kitchen out once more, by the way, so you can see what it's like. Um, yeah, I think that's all right. Uh, maybe a carpet in the middle would be nice. If we got a green carpet, let's go for um, floor and carpets. And we do have uh, green flowers. Let's buy that. And would that look okay in here? It actually does look all right, I think. I don't really have any big problem with that. I'm just going to sort of centralize it to the, the cabinetry. There we go. And that's actually centralized. Now it needs to come further back. That looks even worse now. Closer to the cabinets, maybe. Yeah, that looks fine. So look, it's sort of like darker. Actually, no, that is the darkest colour, sadly. But it would be nice, sort of, like, blends upwards. But there we go. There's our kitchen. Um, We probably want something on there. But again, that's little detail stuff. Well, that's for however long it took to do that. I don't think it was too bad. So, let's work on... Uh, do we want to do this bathroom? Or do we want to do uh, the kids' bedroom? I am of the opinion that the bathroom would be quicker. So, let's go for that one. So, this one... We're not going to have green. Definitely not going to have green. So we want floor. We want... Um, well, the, down, the one downstairs is blue. Um, let's go with something that's a bit warmer. So ceramic tiles with orange. That could work. So let's try that. That is actually quite nice. Because this is going to have a bath in it, I believe. Yeah, this has got a bath in it. Um, I think so. Oh, no. That's a toilet. That's the sink. That's the towel rail and shower. Okay, and then... All right, so this has got a shower in. Oh, because the bath's downstairs, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. The bath is downstairs. So in reality, I would say that the, the, it should be the other way around because, you know, nice warm area for having a soak. But anyway. Right, let's go for some tiles. So it's walls and wall tiles. And we want something that's fairly warm. So let's have a look around... None of those. None of those. Oh, we got the same tiles. We want them fairly big, actually, so none of them, really. We could just paint it. Uh, copper coin? Don't think I've painted anything copper coin before. Let's go for paint, and we'll get that. And let's just do one, one wall. Yeah, it looks okay, but in reality, it's a bathroom. And it, nah. Okay, let's go for walls. And wall panels. What paneling do we have? Uh, panels dark. Panels pine. Uh, panels. Package of brown wood. Not opposed to it. There's bright panels. Oh, that could work, actually. Parquet. No. Pine. No. Let's buy one of those. Let's see what it's like. I mean... It can only not work. Just do a full wall. Use the use the pack up. Doesn't take long to do, does it? I think this is from the sauna pack. Gee, if it's good enough for saunas, surely it's good enough for a <laughs> bathroom. Oh what? Go on. Let's 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 do that. Let's do that. It's not it's not totally it doesn't look totally right, but again, something different from what I normally go with. We could always put a um a sauna a sauna corner <laughs> in here. Um I know that's something we could have put in uh, the other room before we did our expansion. I mean, one would hope eventually there will become a, a sand, like almost a sandbox mode, where you can pretty much build the building from scratch, from the ground up. I hope that would be added at some point, but hey ho. I 
I don't know. The Garden DLC obviously is uh, something I'm looking forward to. But I think it'll be a lot more work to do. That sort of thing. Uh, buy many. Uh, how many do we need? That's just going to be white, I think. It's a very interesting look. It actually feels a lot smaller now, this one. Don't know why. Now, the question is, do I want to paint this white or do I want to put the wood in there? Depends on what it looks like here. It looks fine. Well, okay. Um, the floor now doesn't seem to work, so let's try the flooring again. Um, pine floor, none of that. Panels and coverings, no. I do want tiles, I think. But maybe, perhaps, something different from what we've got. Then, maybe... I think the other ones were better. Maybe. Oh, those would be horrible, them 3D tiles to walk on. Let's just try and see what they look like. I bet, I bet they look terrible. Yeah, they really do. <laughs> they really do. Um, these are tiles yellow, but they probably won't look too yellow with the pine. No, that's that seems to be all right. Okay, let's work on the shower and such. So we want to go for hands here. Unscrew. So we'll take out the caps. Which don't actually look like to the, they're in there, which is strange. Um, mount there, sink there. Okay, so we want a toilet. In capitals, obviously. Mountable toilet standard. Uh, mountable toilet fairy and uh, the flatty. Let's go for the flatty. And we'll put that in there, because why not? So that goes in. And there you go. Right. We want a sink. So sink. It'll just be the probably mountable sink because it'll be round and then it'll match that there, which is fine. So assemble these. Obviously, you've got the bolts go in there. Plonk that in there. Washer. Nut. Same again. And then the two adapter kits. Well, right. So is on. And there we go. And then mixers. Then the sleeves. And then the worst and everything else. Right, so we'll just go for the shower. Now, there's only one shower in the game, I believe. Might we'll shower, plumbing system, uh, shower case, Mary. Oh, yeah. Sh there's only one shower. Mount will shower. Bye. Which is a shame because you can't uh, change the colours of it, but I don't think that's too much of a problem, is it? Showers a showers a shower. It's not right against the wall as well, which is also going <laughs> to bug me a little bit, but I think we'll manage. So the mixer's on. No rain head on this, though, which is a shame. Or is there a rain head? I don't know. I didn't notice. That little gap there. Just annoying enough, or just small enough to collect dirt, but... Uh, or just big enough to collect dirt, uh, just small enough to not be able to clean it properly. So, you know, <laughs> nice one. <laughs> uh, what are we doing now? Hang on. Oh, that. And there we go. Yeah. And now we've just got the radiator. Um, so it's a uh, multiple to towel radiator, which is really high up. I still think that's a bit high, but, you know, it's going in. Not a chrome one either. It's a white one. Which apparently, by all accounts, and I don't know if this is correct, if it's chrome, um, it it really doesn't dissipate the heat as much because of uh, the effects of that. But anyway, that's the bathroom, which, quite frankly, I think it's alright. And that light actually seems to fit in okay, because it's this sort of wooden one. Um, so let's see. <laughs> Other. Um, what does it say on the right? It says, bathroom. What happens if I put a sauna bench in? Nothing. Um, sauna heater. Yeah, right next to the toilet where you can burn yourself. Perfect. Put it there with shatter the glass. 
See, this is not going to be classed as a sauna. Oh, there's a sauna heater. Um, we're just going to put it in because we can. Um, corner sauna bench. No, sand timer. Sauna sand timer. Does that mean thermometer? Or is it how long it's been? I think so. Towel. Oh, what's that there? Head lift. No. Towel roll. Um, what we'll do is we'll put one. Two. And the question is, can we put it side on? Sadly not. Let's just do that. And there we go. There's our sauna. Um, we will put a mirror in. It, uh, that hasn't that hasn't that bug's still in there. Beach nut and uh, nut. And we, there's nothing saying we can't put it side on. There we go. There's the bathroom. Uh it's fine, actually. I don't mind that at all. I wonder if it says we have a sauna now. Um Separate office, no place for my documents and books. I want a one bedroom, not two. No place for off uh for documents and books. What does he think this is? I need a separate office. From who? Yourself. <sighs> okay, fine. Um, <laughs> so we've got a bathroom. And we've got the one downstairs. Right, I think we will leave that episode there. Mm. Good job I don't mind cold lemon tea. Um, oh, I'll put a nice standing lamp there as well. So, good progress on this episode. We've got our very, very green kitchen, which uh, I want to sell that. Actually, I haven't finished this off. Um, I will do the lighting first. So, lamps, ceiling, and I wanted a strip light. Uh, the line, and by now, and it's going to go... Uh, do we have the two? Could have one there, and then one over here, maybe. Perhaps. So, there, and then we'll turn it on. Yep, that seems to light up the room, and it's about centralised. Excellent. Uh, we want a light switch. No, it's not there. It'll be under installations, and it'll be under modern light switch. Why not? And we'll place it there. That's fine. And actually, no, because the rest of the house is not that. Um, so let's go for back. Standard by many. Uh, what height have they put these at? Just above the door handle height. There we go. Nice. Nice. Right, I think we will leave it there. Very good progress. Kitchen all complete. We've got that, which is annoying me. Uh, and then we've also got, if we go upstairs, we've got our new bathroom slash sauna. <laughs> <laughs> different, but I don't think it's bad different. I don't think it's different for being the sake of. Like, it, it works with this wood panelling. And there we go. Right, so that is uh, that episode done. Next episode, probably the last episode, will be this room, which is going to be the kids' bedroom, or the guest bedroom, whichever you prefer to call it. I'm, I'm thinking more kids' bedroom. Um, so we might actually build it with... Um, like a, a cot in there or something like that. And then we'll go downstairs and f sort this out, which won't take too long because, quite frankly, we're going to have a couple of, shel a cu a couple of shelves um, and then a couple of... probably a couple of work tables and maybe a bike or something under here and then finally we'll do this fallout shelter which is gonna have bunks and stuff like that so we'll uh we'll see what that's like and i'm gonna have to sort that out i'm I, f I might end up just redoing the lot of it which is a shame um or actually no do you know what would work what would work is if we go over to walls and wall tiles is tiles no it'll be wall panels if we have this, if we have a notable difference in the wall here, 
uh, would that function? Let's let's see if if it works. Um, actually, what I should do is probably build it around the door, which is where the main look would work or not, depending on whatever the case may be. Right, because these, I'm guessing, would be load bearing walls. Yes, they would be load bearing walls, considering the span of the ceiling. So these would be load bearing, but that works. So what I'd do, I'm going to do the rest of the walls um, as that. So like, just work along with this. And it'll look like we've got this basement, and the basement was one sort of open plan or something like that. And then whoever's got the property has decided that you know it all might kick off and such I've been watching too many uh, so many news programs of questionable uh, reporting and uh, think the world's gonna end in 35 seconds so it's knocked up this bunker so yeah you can see like this as if like it's open plan then they've put that in that seems to work I like that and it solves the problem with me having to then redo all of this perfect Right, gonna call it there. Next episode, we will finish this building off. I might do a little bit of work in between the episodes, but we'll see. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.